ever want to play Battleship, but you don't have the board game, draw one. All you gotta do is draw a grid like this. Do it twice for each player. Okay, you know, normally it's a two-player game, so you're gonna make four grids. And you can do it on the same page. You know, you can flip it over, or you can do it on two separate pages. Right? And it can be one through ten, or twenty, or whatever your, your preference. Then, decide on ships between the two players. How many do you want? Do you want four ships, five ships? You know, it all depends on how big you make your grid. Like if you've only got a 10 by 10 grid, you're only going to be able to fit so many in there, right? You're going to be able to get like a 6, maybe a 5, a 4, and a 3. That's probably all I would do. However, on a 20 by 20, you can get a, an 8 if you want. A big, long submarine, maybe, right? You, maybe, maybe you want two of those, okay? And then maybe you want a, a five. Maybe that's just your battleships. Maybe you want three of those. Okay, all you gotta do is make sure each player is using the same style and number of battleships. And we, I would just write that down, you know. Once you agree on, maybe you'd go like, say I want two submarines, we'll call them eighters. So you can use eight squares whichever way, right? And draw your submarine in there. So two eights, okay? And then say I want, I don't know, three battleships. Let's call them fives. No, let's go six. Why not? Make it a challenge. So let's go three sixers. See how I'm doing that? I would write the three and then the six. That way you know how many and how big. Right? And then maybe I want... Two of the, I don't know, maybe I want five of the scout ships. We'll call them, now nah, we'll go with three. Three scout ships, those will be fours. So three of the four size. And then we can go with two of the threes. How about one three and one two? Make it hard. One, three, and one, two. And then all you gotta do is draw your ships. Whichever way, wherever you want them. Just like you do on the, on the board game, except you're placing your ships. Here you gotta draw them. I would use different colored markers or pens or crayons or whatever you got. And just box it in. But you could do it like this. Or you could better yet draw this with a pencil, right? And then, oops, draw your ships with a pen. I did it all with pen, but... So let's say I want two eights. I'm going to place my ships. Say one right here. We'll just darken that in really good. And then one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. And then just darken that in really good. That's all you gotta do. That's a ship. Okay, I need two of those. So I'm gonna put another one like right here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Come across here. Come back up. And we got our ship. 
Yes, we got those. Check those off. Now we need three sixers. So I would go maybe right here. Three of those. So I'm gonna put another one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can be as creative as you want. It don't matter. You can even draw little boat shapes if that's what you like. Doesn't matter. So I need one more sixer. I'm gonna put him right up here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I learned this years and years and years ago in school. So I got my three sixers. So I checked that off. Now I need three fours. So let's go one, two, three, four. The only thing you gotta make sure is you make your boats nice and dark so that there's no mistake, right? one four. Now I need another four. Now you don't have to have that many ships. You can have as many or as few as you like. One, two, three, four. But you get the idea. Four. Put that right here. One, two, three, four. Like so. Now we got our three fours. Now you need one three. We'll put him right here. Just for CP. One, two, three. One, like that. And then we need one, two. We're going to put him way over here. He'll never figure that out. And yeah, I've played this grid before. Not set up quite like that, but there you go. And then, you, you know, you just check them off as you write them down. And then on your board, this is where you mark the hits and the misses. You can mark the hit with an X, the misses with a dot, or you can use a green crayon, red crayon, and go that way, or whatever you like. It doesn't matter. But when you got your turn, you would turn the page, right? And then you'd be looking at his grid, or your opponent's grid, whoever, right? And you'd call out the number, and you'd mark an X or an O if it's a hit or a mess. And then when it's their turn, you'd flip back to your ships. He, he or she's going to call out their numbers, and you would mark in their hit or mess. Pretty easy. That's all there is to it. And like I said, you can make it as big or as little as you want. As long as both sides have the same exact amount. That way it's fair. Right? If you can get a hold of some craft paper, that saves you a lot of time. Because then all you have to do is make a square. 
and then just label them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And you gotta decide on your ships, how many and of what you want. And the sky's the limit. You're not limited to a board game. And there's no pieces to lose. You can play this in the car. You can play this over the internet. You can play it over the phone, over text. I mean, there's it. there you go. Hundreds of ways to do it. So I think I'll leave you at that. And happy playing. Good luck.